Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. In the previous video, we discussed about the unit step function, the first uh, elementary signal. Now, so in today's video, we are going to discuss about the second elementary signal, which is the unit ramp function. So first, the basic definition. So the unit ramp function is a function. So first let us discuss about what is the ramp function. Okay, so ramp function is a function which starts at time t equals to 0. Okay, at time t equals to 0 and increases linearly with time. So it exists again for positive time duration okay for positive time for t greater than 0 and for t lesser than 0 it is 0 and it increases linearly with time it means it has a constant slope okay the slope of the ramp function is constant now for unit ramp function the slope is equal to 1 or unity for unit ramp function. So, the unit ramp function is represented, the functional representation is RT is equal to T for T greater than equal to 0 again we are including lesser than equal to 0 and 0 for t lesser than 0. Here the slope is equal to 1. So in general a ramp function, a general ramp function, I am uh, calling that as capital R as a function of t, a general ramp function, not a unit ramp function. It has a slope, let us say equal to a, that will be represented as R t is equal to a t for t greater than equal to 0 and 0 for t less than 0. Okay, here the slope is a, here the slope is 1, that is why it is called as unit ramp function. Now, if you notice one thing, the ramp function is actually, this ramp function, it can also be written as this. T u t okay t u t for t greater than equal to 0 and 0 for t lesser than 0 u t is 1 unit step function which is constant magnitude which is equal to 1 so for it exists only for t greater than equal to 0 so we can write r t as t u t u t is 1 for positive time duration and 0 for negative uh, time duration so for positive time duration, the ramp function can be represented in terms of unit step function as T u t. So, actually the ramp function is the integration of the unit step function u t d t which is equal to 1 into d t which is equal to t or we can say that the unit step function, the unit step function is the derivative of the ramp function drt by dt which is 1, d by dt of t which is 1, unit step function is equal to 1. So you remember these two important relationships, it is very important. The ramp function is the integration of the unit step function or 
the unit step function is the derivative of the ramp function okay now this is the continuous time domain representation of the unit step signal okay i'm using the word signal for continuous time now suppose we have to convert it into discrete time domain okay discrete time domain so we have to take samples of the ramp function at fixed equally spaced time instants following the nyquist sampling criteria the nyquist sampling theorem which is sampling frequency must be greater than or equal to twice of the maximum signal frequency suppose we took the samples at 2 4 6 8 seconds okay there is a gap of 2 seconds in between each sample so now the discrete time domain signal let me remove this the discrete time sequence okay i again used the word signal by mistake the discrete time sequence representation of the ramp function will look something like this this constantly linearly increasing with a constant slope with time okay this is the discrete time representation of the ramp sequence so this is the value at 2 4 6 and 8 this is the discrete time representation of the ramp sequence okay again constant slope it means here the value will be 2 at 2 seconds here the value will be 4 at 4 second be 6 be 8 because rt is equal to t it means at 2 seconds it will be 2 at 4 seconds it will be 4 at 6 seconds it will be 6 seconds will be 8 the magnitude the value of the ramp signal here also the magnitude of the ramp sequence at specific distinct time instance 2 4 6 8 will be 2 4 6 8 now the discrete time sequence can be functionally represented as the, it will be this it is the same as this just we replace r uh, the t with n the discrete time instant it is n for n greater than equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0 or it can also be represented as rn is equal to n u n t u t n u n for n greater than equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0 okay this is the discrete time sequence representation here the slope also is equal to 1 okay so see this is the continuous time domain signal representation of the ramp signal this is the discrete time representation graphical representation of the ramp sequence okay just the only difference is that the t got changed to n continuous time got changed to discrete everything else is the same now an important thing is that while sampling again i have uh, i told you uh, this in the first video in the basics related to sampling that when we take samples at particular time instants following the sampling criteria of course some portion of the signal we miss we have no information about suppose someone asks us what is the magnitude of this ramp sequence at 1 second 
we don't know that because we have not taken the sample at that instant suppose someone asks what is the value the magnitude of this uh, ramp sequence at 2.1 second we don't know that we took the sample at 2 suppose someone asks us what is the value of this sequence this signal at 5.5 seconds we don't know there is no such instant we have the the criteria for discrete time sequence is that it should be whole integers there should not be any fractional part or decimal part involved it should be whole 2 4 6 and the another thing is that they should be equally spaced it means the duration between samples should be equal if you took the sample at one second you have to take again after one second means two three four five six seven eight and so here we have taken the samples at every two seconds the spacing is two seconds so we took the first sample at two next sample at four next sample at six again at eight so the information the signal uh, values in between two and four is lost that is the demerit the disadvantage of sampling but uh, it doesn't make any difference if we follow the sampling criteria then the signal can be accurately recovered it doesn't make any difference okay we can make up for the lost information and can accurately trace the signal so this is the discrete time and continu continuous time representation of the unit ramp function okay which is the second elementary signal that we have discussed so there are around uh, six more elementary signals to cover so we'll discuss them one by one so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much